Hi folks, Tom from Cord Electronics Professional. We had the really cool opportunity of sitting down with Evie Clark Josper at Baltic Studios in East London. Evie works as a mix engineer, recording engineer and a producer with many artists, as well as making her own music on the side. We're super grateful to Evie that we could sit down with her and have a chat about her experiences in the professional industry. Evie has worked with artists such as Florence and the Machine, Cam Cole, Paloma Faith, as well as Rina Sawayama. You can find a link to all of Evie's social media, Discogs and the Baltics website in the description below. So, Evie, um, for anyone that doesn't know you, uh, can you tell us a bit about who you are and what you do? Yeah, sure. So, my name's Evie, as you said. I'm an audio engineer and I live in East London and that's me. Cool. What do you do here at Baltic Studio? I am the in-house engineer, so I record people and mix people and anything cool. else they might need to do here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's, it's a Monday morning, it's pretty early, 9am um, yeah. you'd have us here, so cool. get us out of the <laughs> beds. Um, is that a regular start time for you or do you work late or do you work early? It varies so, so much. Mm -hmm. um, Thankfully, in this studio, it tends to be like morning or like midday starts. Um, but in the past, I've done like really late ones, like 7 p.m. start, 7 a.m. finish. Oh. Always 12 or 14 hour days, oh. like, no matter what. So uh, that's rough. That's yeah. Rough. <laughs> <laughs> so how long have you actually been working here for at the Baltic Studio? Uh, so I was a freelancer for like two years. Mm -hmm. And then last month, they took me on as the in-house engineer full time. That's great. Really cool. Well, congratulations for that. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Yeah, that's Nothing great. like a full time. Job. <laughs> <laughs> um, so how did you discover that you love music and wanted to be involved in making it because making music and loving music are two very different things yeah for sure well I mean my whole family are musicians like my mum was a busker like when I was a kid so she just like take me busking <laughs> and my dad's a techno producer as well um, cool. so I was always surrounded by it I guess and it just seemed like a natural progression for me like I started playing like instruments like as a really young kid because I was always surrounded by it. And I decided at a really young age <clears throat> that I wanted to become an audio engineer. I think I was like 14 and I like just saw a mixing desk and was like, oh, that looks cool, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I just sort of decided, so I'm just following like a 13 year old's dream. Do you still play music and instruments? Yeah, yeah, yeah a bit, yeah, like yeah, definitely yeah. hobbyist like, uh -huh. for sure, okay. but yeah, yeah, I do, yeah. yeah. Sure thing. And then you went through university as well? To yeah, yeah, I studied music or... production, yeah, okay. yeah. At which uni? It was BIM in okay. London. Did you right. enjoy it? Yeah, it was fun. Okay. It was good fun. It was good fun. I worked for them for a while after that as well, actually, as a technician. So there we go. It was cool. Yeah, you got to get somewhere, haven't you? So. Yeah. <laughs> um, cool. Okay. So what would you say that some of your career highlights are so far? Oh, that's a tricky one. <laughs> um, I I assisted on Rena Sawayama's uh, latest album, which was really good fun. Um, I assisted her vocal producer, and he was really cool. So that was really good. I also, I work with like one of my best friends quite a lot as like a producer and we make like lots of drum and bass and stuff together. That's really fun. That sounds fun. Yeah. Um, and then probably joining Baltic as well has been like a big highlight because I get to like, have a lot of input on like how the spaces work and it's really cool to like, see it come to life on sessions. That does sound very cool. So is there any particular work that you're super proud of? Oh, I mean... All yeah, of <laughs> all of it, everything though. Um, the very first album I recorded was back like maybe four years ago. It was for a guy called Cam Cole and he like, he plays this thing called like a farmer foot drum, which is basically just like a whole kit that you play with just your feet and like plays guitar at the same time and sings and does the whole thing himself. And that was a really fun project. I'm quite proud of that. Did you do, was that an all in one recording session? Like, did you record all of it? Yeah, in everything one go, all at once. Like yeah, apart from the vocals, actually. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. that was really fun. Because that can prove to be a challenge as well, can't it? Because mm. I assume that like, most recordings are tracking. So you, yeah, you for the sure. There was loads of bleed and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but it was it was good. It came out well, and I guess yeah, I'm pretty proud of that because it was sort of my very first project that I did like on my own. You know, that's pretty cool. Very cool. Yeah. Um. So just out of interest, how did you hear about it's called electronics? I heard about them from the Audizy website. Um, because I just got a pair of LCD X's and I was looking for a headphone amp basically. Mm -hmm. Um, and I came across the Mojo too. And that's when I got in touch with you guys. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's how I discovered it. Cool. And you're enjoying it, I assume. So, yeah, I think it's yeah. really good, actually. I've been really impressed. Excellent.
So as someone who spends a lot of time being involved in the recording and mixing process of music, do you struggle to listen to music casually or without feeling uh, the need to analyse it? Or I mean, I feel like I always have an opinion on it and it's hard to not have an opinion on it, but I think I'm pretty good at separating my work life to like my sort of home life, like listening wise. And I really try and like let go of all that and like just enjoy music as much as I can without commenting on it and it's also subjective anyway absolutely I definitely don't sort of listen to something and go oh they should have boosted 10k <laughs> like you know like no I just I listen to it and if I like it I like it I don't really like care about the sonics of it do you have a favorite genre of music or is that asking I, I mean yeah. I, I'm trying to broaden the question with genre because <laughs> I can't you can't say album or anything like that no I don't well I don't know I don't know genre um, album artist Anything specific or just no, is it a no, it's of so yeah. so varied. I really mm-hmm. like so much different music. Yeah, it's okay. super varied. That's good. Our last question, actually, we've whipped through these pretty quickly, which is good. Um, as a woman in the pro in audio industry, um, mm-hmm. do you have any advice for others who are also looking to get into it? Uh, personal learning experiences you acquire throughout the career, etc., or just go for it. <laughs> it's a, it's a really tricky one. Um, I get asked this question quite a lot. I, th- I think it's super hard um, to answer this question, but everyone's path is super different. So I try not to say there's only one way of doing things, but I think the key, like as with anything, is just to be super persistent. Because mm-hmm. um, if you're not, then like it's like, it is a very competitive industry, and like it is harder as a woman. But yeah, I think just be super consistent, like and constantly network, and also. Try not to beat yourself up if you make mistakes. I feel like you learn way more on sessions that go badly than you do on sessions that go right, Mm -hmm. you know? Because if everything goes perfectly, then you haven't really learned anything new. But yeah, I think that's like my only advice is try not to beat yourself up when stuff goes wrong. Just like try and learn from it. Mm-hmm. That's great advice, actually. I think that can apply to everybody. Yeah, <laughs> for sure, right? Just like. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, thank you very much um, for your time and your answers. It's been a wonderful pleasure. No worry.